Hi, welcome to this introduction video for Salami Fish Prime Light. My name is Tobias Wittmer and I'm a senior colorist and color scientist in Berlin. Here's a tool I basically use on every shot and which contains more than 90% of my grading work. Prime Light is a color space aware grading tool which lets you access different brightness regions of the image as well as camera and scene correct exposure and white balancing while using advanced color appearance models. Primat is intended to be the first tool in the node tree after the input device transform, but it can also be used in the middle of the node tree or in the end. The first operator is the flare tool, which sets the deepest linear black level, very good for corrections of scattered light and lens flares, as well as matching footage with different amount of onset haze. Here's an example with a lens flare and one without and we want to try to match it. So we just simply lower the flare value and we can see that the contrast of the shot with flare and of the shot without flare are now closer together. The dark tool accesses the darkest parts of the image with achromatic as well as chromatic correction options. On a real image it looks like this. The dim tool accesses grey parts above dark with achromatic as well as chromatic correction options. It's very good for reducing the scene contrast in the shadows. On a real image it looks like that. You can also use it to bring in a subtle undertone without raising your shadows in general. Like the other tools. The exposure tool works in the same color space like the camera sees the image on set. Due to that, it will feel completely natural. Compared to offset grading on lock images, the shadows will stay where they are supposed to stay and therefore needs less push and pull corrections. The Kelvin slider can match two cameras with different white balances with one slide, as if it were shot in RAW. No try and error with lift gamma gain or offset anymore. The light tool is especially useful in HDR. You can control the upper gray tones above diffuse white and below specular lights. That means you can take the energy out of a strong bright window without affecting the highest speculars which results in a more natural HDR impression and still high levels on your waveformer. The specular tool in comparison to light affects the top of the image and is able to lower or raise the specular lights of the image. With it you can limit the maximum nit level of your signal. All the tools are designed to prevent bowing the signal in an unnatural way to avoid artificial looking images, even for stronger corrections. The black level pivot lets you influence the shadow behavior of all the tools, how much the deepest blacks are maintained. Normally you would leave it untouched. Primate's default working color spaces are Arilox C White Gamut, ACES CCT and BT1886, also known as Rex 709 If you're interested, you can buy this tool on www.salamifish.com. Thanks for watching.